Hello big boys, as you know, I am a big fan of White Red Prison. However, the deck has seen better days. A pretty fair statement considering that nobody plays this deck anymore, but rewind to its heyday. Back in 2017, Death Shadow decks are blowing up, at one point reaching 16% of the metagame. And these Shadow decks just happen to have around 33 cards that cost one. And you know what's really good against cards that cost one? Chalice of the Void, especially on turn one. Needless to say, White Red Prison was having a good time. But sadly, those good times did not last. Shadow decks eventually settled down, and even worse, we began to see less and less creature heavy decks in the metagame. And in a prison deck pack full of creature removal, that ain't good. So White Red Prison is dead. But we are attempting to resurrect it with the new card, Chandra Alkalite of Flame. She has three abilities. Put a loyalty counter on all of her red planeswalkers, or create two 1-1 one -one tokens that die at the end of turn. And lastly, it's minus two ability, which says we may cast an instant or sorcery card from our graveyard with converted mana cost three or less. Chandra is really good in the deck for a couple of reasons. Firstly, by being able to cast a card from graveyard, it helps with card advantage, which compared to blue-white control decks, White Red Prison decks have always struggled with. Secondly, since Emrakuls are go-to win condition, and there are times where dealing 15 damage isn't enough to finish off our opponent, Chandra's elemental tokens help finish the job, and most importantly is the loyalty counter ability, because normally this is what happens. Now here he comes out turn 4, ups to 6, and by turn 5 it ups to 8, but nowadays getting to turn 6 in a modern game is an accomplishment in and of itself, but the new Chandra can help get Emrakul out sooner. Let's say we turn 3 Chandra and turn 4 Nahiri. Turn 4 Nahiri goes to 6, but on that same turn Chandra can up it to 7, which means by turn 5 we can activate Chandra first, pushing Nahiri up to 8, which allows Nahiri here to get Emrakul right then and there. So in other words, the new Chandra helps get Emrakul out a turn earlier. It's pretty gangster. However, the downside of Chandra is that it's not good defensively. So to make sure all goes well, we have a lot of cards for defense. We have four Helixes, four Angers, which exiles everything. And speaking of exile, we have two Lava Coils, really good against Thing in the Ice and Arc Like Phoenix. And then we have two Timely Reinforcements. Basically, we gain six life and make three 1-1 tokens. And because it only costs three, we can recast it with Chandra. Pretty convenient. For Disruption, obviously we have Chalice of the Void, as well as three Blood Moons. And for winning, we have the Planeswalker, Chandra, Chandra, and Nahiri. All of them are red, and it works well with the little Chandra, especially since Big Chandra's ultimate's really good. And looking at the current modern metagame, there are a lot of reasons why we should do well. We have a lot of exiling, which is really good against graveyard decks, and even Nahiri's minus ability is exile. And obviously, there's a lot of cards that cost one in the metagame, so there's definitely hope of doing well, as long as the deck we're up against isn't too fast. But now let's look at the sideboard. We have more exiling, graveyard hate, artifact hate, more life gain, and then Tron hate, counter control hate, activated ability hate, and spell spam hate. That's the deck, and it's time for the gameplay. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already a big boy. But without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand is not great. But we do have a turn two chalice, so we'll keep. What is these? Sacred Foundry. And um, they didn't attack? Okay, we'll pray for them. Especially now with Chalice of the Void out. How will they respond? They just swing for one. And then they tap their lands and pass back. What's happening? Okay, let's play Chandra. Upping it. And then back to them. Idle on. They swing at us for one, not taking Chandra seriously. But that is where they're mistaken, because she might not look it, but she thick with two Qs. And oh good, another land. Here you go, big boy. And just to be extra safe, let's up this. And back to our opponent. And the opponent passes back to us. And now it's time for happy fun time. Oh, the, the Boros Sharma? Sh sure. But now I can do these. Discard draw. And then up Nahiri. And back to them. But something special's coming next turn. They draw. Boros Charm us. And now watch this goodness. On seven, on eight, and now it's Emrakul time. Hooray, and there's the concede. Thank you, Chandra, for reaffirming your thickness. No one in the game two, we're gonna dump the moons for this, and with that, let's go to game two. We have a chalice, but everything else is terrible. You'll keep it, and they pass back. Play land, they bolt us, and a rat. Oh my god. It does shut off Chandra. I mean, they have a point, but oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, they have thousand IQ because now we can't discard Emrakul because we only have one in our deck and it's in our hand. And with rest in peace out, we can't discard it. However, we have 2000 IQ because Nahiri's minus two says exile a tapped artifact or a tap creature, or an enchantment. Not a tapped enchantment, just an enchantment. Therefore, we have large brain. And now we go Chalice. Back on their turn, they draw. But then they pass back. Well, Chandra, play a land. Back to them. What is these? Secure the critics? Sure. And then back on our turn, no land, but we do have a Chandra. That will do. Up Chandra out of range. And then back to them. They play Lightning Bolt. Well, good for them. And then they pass back. Upping Chandra again. Back to our opponent. They play a land. Passes back to us. And no land for us. So we'll up Chandra. They helix us. And we'll get rid of Nahiri. Another rest in peace. Okay. So in that case, we'll lean towards Chandra. But while our lands are open here, let's try and draw out a skull crack from them. No skull crack. We gain three life. And another one. Oh, Chandra's at seven, so we might as well start attacking. Swing for two. They searing blaze us for one. Uh, I guess the moral of this match will be don't do drugs, because I'm not really sure what our opponent's thinking. Uh, another helix. And finally, there's our fourth land. Play Chandra. Upping it. And then upping this one. So many loyalty counters. Back to them. And overwhelmed by our greatness, they concede. Really easy 
easy match. And you know what else is easy? Buying my deck boxes. Now more affordable than ever. But now back to the gameplay. Opening hand is lame, so we're gonna mole. Oh, mole. Oh, this, this is bad, but we'll keep. Play our one land and pass back. Noble Hierarch. Oh, Simeon, but pass back. And it looks like we're up against Infect. Oh boy. All right. Well, we could play the Blood Moon, but we're stuck on one land. And we could play the Anger of the Gods, but Spell Sky is still there. King Helix Zack is redirected. Yeah, I, oh man. I guess we gotta go Blood Moon, even though they can still make mana there. And just pray for a land. They swing for one. Wowee. And then they pass back. Back to them. Groundswell. Unigenic Growth. We go to 12. <laughs> back to them. Groundswell again. Oh, and look. A land. Back to them. They swing for one. Yeah, we take it. And then we'll make them redirect. Yep. At least we gain three. And oh boy, another land. And then back to them. Scale up. And Unigenic Growth. Oh no, that's nine damage, but we shall gain three. So we survive by three. And come on, land. Oh my god. All right, Blood Moon. They most likely have us here. No, we're, we're at two. Oh my god. Blood Moon again. Isn't this fun, guys? And now they have us. Wow, that was pretty sad. I mean, our opening hand was pretty bad, though. So game two it is. Golden in the game two. We're not going to change much. We're going to get rid of the timely reinforcements. Putting in this stuff. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand. It could be better, so we're going to mull. And yeah, there's a little bit better. Starting with the temple. Lava coil, sure. Close in our L. And now we'll go with the coil. Back to them. Another L. And they pass back. Andra, okay. And I think our best move here, anger the gods. Yeah, that seemed right. Especially because of hexproof. And then they pass back. We'll play Chandra, attack for two. Take that. And they fetch for a dryad arbor. Okay. But will they pump? Pump with that. And that. So Chandra will die. And then back on our turn, Nahiri. Could play that, exiling that. Yeah, that seems right. Farewell. Unless they have hexproof. Nope. Back to them. They draw. They pass back. We shall up Nahiri, discarding that hoe. Another Nahiri, back to them. They pass back to us. Up Nahiri, discarding Nahiri. Blood Moon, sure. Although they could fetch. Indeed. Back to them. Spell Sky. And we pull Chalice. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's up Nahiri. And Planes. Nice. That's what I was hoping for. So let's first go Chalice. It hits. And then Lava Coil. It hits. All right. We're looking good. And then they pass back. We'll up Nahiri. Just to be extra safe. Playing Spyglass. Dismember. Pump. But nothing else. They pass back. So now we get Emrakul. There is a concede. So we're going to game three. In game three. No change to sideboard. We could hit that early Blood Moon. Yeah. Okay. We keep Forest. They play Glistener Rail. There's another Simeon. We could turn one Moon. Both the second Forest and land. They could have Lethal. That isn't all that likely. So we'll risk it. Double Simeon. And take that. Back to them. They play Scale Up. Swing for a six. They have Mutagenic Growth. Oh, no. Good. All right. I think this is it here. Lava Coil. Yep. Back to them. Glistener. Oh, boy. All right. Just got to survive until Chandra next turn. Is that possible? Noble. Okay. Good. Take two more. And Nahiri. That is better than Chandra. Because if you use Chandra to kill that, on their turn, Noble can kill off Chandra. So Nahiri is a safer option. Exo. And let's see what else they got. Ooh. All right. They're going to kill Nahiri. That's fine. And he looks nice. So we shall do a fancy, fancy move. Chandra producing two red. And then white Helix. And then Noble goes to Jesus. How will they come back from this? It just keeps going. But with Chandra out, it's a, it's a pretty tough card to deal with. And I can feel their fatigue. They want to concede. But they pass back. Okay, up Chandra. Two to them. Back to them. They pass back again. Up Chandra. A little Chandra. Upping both Chandras. Oh, that's so satisfying. But now that Chandra's at eight, next turn we can play the ultimate and keep Chandra alive. Okay, okay, ultimate. So every time we play a card, it deals five. And now watch this. Helix for eight damage. And then Chandra for two damage. Attacking with the two elementals. And then lightning Helix for eight. Isn't that satisfying? All right. So a really rough game one, but games two and three were pretty straightforward. And the double Chandra for the win was quite nice. But now on to the next one. Opening hand, I don't know, it's kind of tempting to keep, but we'll mull. And yes, yes, this we shall keep. Starting with the temple, another chalice. Yeah, just in case they have discard. And back to them, sister supplier. And it looks like we're up against the big hoe. So play chalice, and back to them. They get back blood gas and play another blood gas. Anger of the gods, where are you at? Mm, Wrath of God. Now, tough decision. If we go blood moon, that shuts off our Wrath of God for now. But that also shuts off their green cards, which we know they have because they have Assassin's Trophy. I might regret this but blood moon back to them they dump that in the graveyard will we see the big hoe mm. oh goody it's everyone's favorite the big hoe okay oh and a chalice whale back to them 12 and that's not gonna stop a big hoe so we're going to game two going in the game two unfortunately we're dumping the chandras because there's a good chance we won't have a graveyard and with that let's go to game two opening hand this i like we shall keep and they start with the looting putting a vengeance on and blood gas and graveyard. Now, it's a bit of a grande move here. Rest in peace, take 
takes care of these cards, but we might see a nature's claim, although we haven't seen as many lately from big hodex. They're more about the thought seas nowadays. So I suppose we'll risk it and play rest in peace. Now let's see what they got. Feeder. Okay, and now we'll play chalice. And then temple. Anger of the gods, yes. And oh boy, force of vigor. So at least we have anger of the gods coming. Such a supplier, whiffing on that. And it's the big hoe, oh, goody. But there is still hope. You get it? Cause like it's a hoe and a hoe sounds like hope. Yeah, I'll get back to them. They swing for 10 and then pass back. Well, well, Helix, even though they're gonna sack. Indeed. And the supplier can stay there. But now we shall do these. Nahiri, exiling the big hoe. Praise the Lord. I mean, the magic gods, praise the magic gods. And then of course, blood gas. That is most fine. We lose Nahiri and then back on our turn. We'll go with the anger. So they all get exiled. Hooray, back to them. Oh, another blood gas. We could Helix it, but we'll wait. Back on our turn, Chalice. Sure, Chalice on one. And back to them. They swing for two. Well, Helix, even though they'll get it back eventually. And oh boy, another land. Okay. And might as well hard cast him. And back to them. They get back blood gas. They swing. We'll take it. And Chalice. And we could Chalice on two, but it probably hurts us more than hurts them at this point. So we'll just swing for two. Back to them. They swing for two. Back to us. Swing for two. Hard cast another one. They swing for two. Back to us. And okay, Nahiri. So attempt to exile. And now the only thing I'm worried about is Vengevine. So we'll just swing for two and then back to them. And then they pass back. All right, well, up Nahiri. Lava Coil, that's good. Swing for two. Back to them. Wayfinder. Ooh, blood gas. Swing for two at us, not Nahiri. This is risky here because I definitely want to Lava Coil that or Nahiri it. And if we block and trade, it just goes to Graveyard. Next turn before combat, they'll get it back with the fetch. So we gotta take the two and another Lava Coil. Uh, attempt the Lava Coil. It's exiled. And now it's up Nahiri. Discard draw. And Helix, that is good. Now let's see if we can push Lethal here. Swing for four. Or we could use the Lava Coil on that, but I just want to make sure they don't have any tricks. Jump there, and we should get it next turn. Or this turn, because there is a concede. Okay, quite the battle for game two, but now it's game three. Game three, no change to sideboard, and we have a gemstone, so we can anger by turn two. Yeah, we'll keep. They play supplier. Vengevine Graveyard. Another anger, nice. For now, we pass back, and then they swing for one, but then they pass back. Interesting. What are they up to? We could Lava Coil, just in case they have a big hoe. I think we can wait one more turn. I really want to bait them into something big. Wayfinder. Oh, please, no big hoe. Vengevine and Graveyard. And Gravecrawler. And then they swing in for nine. And I gotta say, this is going to feel very good. And that's what your mama said. Because watch this. Badoom. Oh, oh, and the pause. Oh, all go to exile. Who needs rest in peace? They flash back the looting. Nothing. What is the East supplier? And nothing but a faithless looting. And back on our turn, let's go temple. And I say we coil that now. Because the biggest threat is still the hoe. Peter looting. Still nothing. But to play it safe, let's use the helix. Not that we're gonna gain any life. And then back on our turn, temple. Nahiri, yes. Back to opponent. Opponent passes back. And now we shall Nahiri. Discarding the land. And ooh! Goodbye, graveyard. <laughs> and ooh, the ash trophy, the Nahiri. All right, we still have rest in peace. Plug ass comes in. Hey, swing for two. And another Nahiri. So play that Nahiri. Exile the plug ass. And back to them. They pass back. He looks cool. Up this. No discard. They nature's claim okay the fire mm, blood gas and back in our turn land discarded timely reinforcements yeah that's pretty good so we'll gain six and make three tokens back to them roll and they have one card in hand what are the odds of big hoe now, we don't have to worry just yet because they only have four cards in graveyard and then they pass back they have regeneration that's a bit of a problem but we'll up this now here he's at eight back to them next turn we can get emrakul they swing in and now we do fancy move here lightning helix the troll and seeing what we're about to do there is the concede because they can regenerate it, but regeneration will remove it from combat. We'll block like that. Emrakul, 15 damage, kills them. And what an epic match. Ah, just, it feels good. All those players frustrated with the big hoe. Hopefully this match was somewhat therapeutic. Now I'm just confused because I was pretty sure this deck was going to fail, but it didn't. And there was even a fourth match against another big hoe deck that we won easily. And I'm not sure how to feel about the deck. I playtested a deck similar to this one right when the core set came out and it just felt too slow. But now, now it feels pretty good. And, and yeah, Yes, that's what she said. But did we just get lucky? How's this deck do against other decks? I don't know. Because I'm so emotionally invested in white red prison decks, I'm genuinely curious if this deck is good or not. So perhaps we'll do a sequel. Let me know if you guys want to see one. But that is all for now. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, I hope you have a great day.